I'm going to do something a little unorthodox and just start the show off with the kicker. The World Anti-Doping Agency just dropped a bombshell today. Whoa. Whoa. Ryan Garcia failed not one but two drug tests. The two? Young, two. One the day before the fight. One a day after the fight. Two. Hey. Hey. I want to shout out... Uh, my brother Alice Pickett for sending me the article, and then uh, Rudy sent it to us in group chat, and I was just I was waiting. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying I'm deeply disappointed in Ryan. Um, I know you believe that everyone has a vendetta against you, like everyone's just against you. I'm sorry, but an international agency isn't fucking thinking about you, Ryan. They're not. Their job isn't to sabotage you. That's just not what they're doing. You failed two tests. Not one, but two. The last person to fail a test was Amir Khan. He was banned for two years. I hope, for the love of God, who you seem to um, shout out a lot, which is very odd sometimes because you say wild shit and then you shout out. God, it's just really strange to me. For the love of him, I would hope your sample B test is negative. Because you're someone that a lot of people don't believe that should be in the position that he's in. I personally think you're you're a really big superstar in the sport and we need you. But if they take two years away from you in your mid twenties, that's that's impactful. Very, very impactful if they take away two years from you. The reason why this is so detrimental is that you went on a social media rant, as you should, because people were, you know, kicking you while you were down after you won the fight. But if you cheated to win the fight, I think that's going to be worse for your career than what you were already dealing with. I, 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 I genuinely hope you didn't touch any of those substances. Mm-hmm. I genuinely hope because... Your credibility would be shot, man. You're someone who people think is a streamer. They look at you in the same view that they look at a lot of these other guys. And as a purist of the boxing sport, I always rooted for you because I knew what you went through in the in the amateurs. You came up through the ranks and you were always a really, really great superior boxer. And then I think fame just got to your head. That's just what I think. But I really don't want this for you. I don't. But if it is true, and, you know, sometimes uh, my brother Rudy thinks I'm not hard enough on athletes. But if it is true, they got to drop the hammer on your ass. They have to. They have to. Because it it's a slippery slope when someone as famous as you and as impactful to the sport can get away with something like this. They they gotta drop the hammer on a couple year ban. They have to, even though I know how important you are for the sport. You 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 literally have young girls on TikTok watching boxing matches, man. Like you're a good looking guy. You're you're literally our De La Hoya. But if you did this, yeah, I have no remorse for you, man, because you've been you've been too vocal. You've been too vocal, and usually when people are cheating, they do it quietly they whisper you were just like obnoxious with it you were I, I hope well he's not the coach anymore but no one in massachusetts like please come after me but you were brazen with it you were bill belichick with the cheating like in our face with it <laughs> um so i really hope you didn't do that i know this is unorthodox for our, our listeners and our viewers oh man don don speaking in the beginning of the show no i was hurt i was hurt when i saw the art I was just like, no, he didn't do this. He couldn't have done this. Dan Raphael put out the article, and he is someone that boxing fans, we we read, we listen to. He's an aficionado. He's one of the gatekeepers of the sport. He's not going to just report this and then screw to everyone else. Yeah. Because it's true. That's all I wanted to to start the show by saying, please, I hope this is not true. If it is, 
you deserve everything that's coming to you. I hope it's not because I'm a fan. But if it's true, you got to deal with the consequences, man. Don't ruin my favorite sport in the world. You cheaters are not allowed in my sport. Anything, anything to add to that, Nick? Rudy? Just wanted to get that off my chest in the beginning of the show. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.